it's a great honor uh, for the armed forces that uh, you've taken the time to meet some of our people uh, serving around the world. And I think these three individuals, Your Majesty, um, give you a snapshot of the breadth of activity that Your Majesty's armed forces are engaged in around the world today. Your Majesty, good morning. Good morning. So this is your first deployment, is it? It is, Your Majesty. I deliver ground support for the helicopters and I get them ready for flying stations. Sounds as though you're rather busy. <laughs> I definitely am, ma'am. And where, where are you at the moment? I'm currently in Curacao at the moment, ma'am. So you've been, you've been travelling in, in the Caribbean, have you? Yeah, we have, ma'am. We've more or less gone round most of the Caribbean now. We've gone past Montserrat, the British Virgin Islands, and it's been absolutely incredible seeing all these different places. The hurricane season is, is about to, to uh, upon us, isn't it? I'm afraid. Yeah, it is, ma'am. I believe it starts just started in July. Can we turn your majesty to um, Colonel Terry, um, who can give you a bit of a feel for what it's like in Mali uh, whilst we've got him on the line? In spite of the thunderstorms? Good afternoon, your majesty. Yes, in spite of the, the thunderstorms, which uh, pleasantly started at 4 a.m. this morning. So a nice early start for us in, in Bamako this morning, ma'am. And how long have you been out in Mali? So I've been out here for Christmas, Easter and, and, and the summer. Uh, and uh, I, I'm aiming to go back towards the end of August. And you haven't seen your family since then? No, ma'am. No, unfortunately, um, the, uh, the COVID crisis has meant that uh, the rest and recuperation flights have been put on hold. And what do you do in, in Mali? The United Nations mission uh, is a multinational global uh, team out here. And I work in a team with lots of different nations as, as the strategic planner. So we get uh, orders, direction from New York, uh, and then I try and turn that into uh, military speak for our units. Should we move to um, yes. Lance Corporal uh, Stevens, um, who is speaking from his home in Lincoln? Um, and what he will do, I uh, hope, is to describe his life as a member of the Queen's Colour Squadron. So you know the form quite well. Uh, yes, I've done uh, more than my share of uh, ceremonial uh, duties on the Queen's Colour Squadron. I've performed in uh, front of you uh, two or three times now. So you must have done, yes. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it's very interesting to hear how, how far spread everybody is in different places. I'm very glad to have been able to meet all of you and the best of luck. 